Hi, welcome to Family Day here at the American Museum for Ceramic Arts. My name is Aida Lugo. I'm a teaching artist for sculpture here at the museum. And today we're going to be discussing themes of food and culture. What you will need for this project is a few simple tools you can find at home. Here I have a toothpick, a popsicle stick, and some noodles for texture. The toothpick can be replaceable with a disposable fork. I can use a disposable spoon to smooth like I could a popsicle stick. And the pasta is for texture. You can use some seeds found outside, possibly a peach pit or even a Lego. I also have one pound of clay from the museum. If you don't have clay from the museum, you can follow the links below to make clay of your own. I also have a workspace I can work on and some clothes that I don't mind getting muddy. Today, we're gonna to be making sculptures that have to do with food and culture, inspired by artist Beth Lowe, who makes a lot of plates and nice decorations on her plates as well, so I liked to do that. I also have chopsticks because Beth Lowe's family immigrated from China, and I have some lovely soybeans in honor of that as well. I also have for my own culture, a tortilla. Lots of cultures don't really use plates. We like to put our food in either a flatbread or a tortilla. I also have different dishes such as the spoons and the forks, some nice beans in here, and an American pizza because pizza is kind of a staple of the Italians who immigrated to America. To get started, what we're going to need to do is unwrap your clay. Next, I'm going to check how hard or soft it is. If it's a little too hard, what I can do is add a little bit of water, spread it on my clay, and press it so that it's gonna be on the inside. A few finger drops of water should be just enough. Close it and add a few finger drops of water on the outside. Okay, I like to rip my clay up into a few pieces so that it's easier to work with. So I'm going to start off with making a plate. I'm going to roll it round. Then, once it's nice and round, I'm going to pinch my thumb into it. Try to go as deep as I can go without poking through the bottom. Next, I'm going to pinch the walls and open it up. Pinching and turning. You can put it on the table to make it nice and flat on the bottom. Keep pinching and turning. And also just pull it, and that's going to help make it nice and wide. If it starts to break, I can just use a little bit of water and my popsicle stick, which is the best tool for smoothing. I like the sides of my plate to be pinched up just a little bit so that I can hold some food without it sliding off. Next, I'm going to decorate my plate. I can use my pasta for texture, I can roll it on the side or stamp the other side. I can also stamp the ends. to go all the way around. This is a border of my plate. Next, on the inside, I can draw a little drawing inspired by Beth Lowe. She likes to put characters on her plates. Get some hair. Maybe some other shapes. Next, I'm going to put some food on my plate. So I'm going to start off by making a tortilla. I'm going to roll it round again. I'm going to flatten it up. I can also use the table to help make it flat. And I'm flipping and turning so it doesn't stick. Go back to my hands. I also press my hands together. Make a nice 
nice tortilla. Pinching it. And what can I put inside of it? Hmm. Well, I like maybe some little beans. Make them nice and round. Not too round because beans are an organic shape. Nice and round. And maybe this one's a little big. I can pinch it apart. Put some avocado in it. And flatten it. Maybe this could be a different vegetable. I can have my tortilla. I also make some utensils. I'm gonna make a spoon. Make my handle pinched and the bottom round. And open it up just like I did the plate. And if it's starting to get a little dry, I can start to put a little bit more water. Smooth out my clay. Pulling clay from the bottom to the handle. And I can use my different tools to decorate. Maybe my burrito needs some texture. Avocado, so we can look more like avocado. So, so these are some of the things I was inspired to make. What are some different foods that you can think of? Thank you so much for joining us for Amoka's Family Day virtually. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of our awesome food creations and I can't wait to see what food creations you come up with. And you can check in the links below for different fun activities or where to hashtag us so that we can see your food creations. Thank you so much for joining us and I hope to see you next time.